What's going on, everybody? Lamar Fashion, I'm back with you again, and I want to crack some race cars tonight. We're going to crack some Johnnies. I need to fill up some race car cases. As you guys know, I'm a huge fan of vintage racing, um, racing anything, really. And I'm going to start with this here Mustang. We've got a Johnny Lightning Racing Machines. This is the Randy Roman number 49 Trans Am Mustang. Let's go ahead and crack it open and take a look. I'm looking forward to cracking this. And I figure, hey, it's the weekend. It's raining outside. Why not crack some cars? Let's take a look at the card. There we go. Pretty cool. Now let's take a look at the piece. Beautiful paint job on this piece. I love the tempo work. Nice painted details along the back. Let's take a look at the base. Just a flat base, kind of like a race car. These are rubber tires without tread. As it is a race car, they're slicks. This is on a 99 playing Mantis base. Just an awesome car. Can we see any interior details? There is some interior detail going on in there. It's pretty barren. Just like a race car. See that cross member there? You can see the Mustang Cobra. That is the business right there, you guys. I absolutely love it. Next up. Got a Corvette. The 63 Corvette Grand Sport. As you can see, it says Spa. That's for Spa Francochamps, which is in Belgium. Last time I showed this, I just had a complete brain cramp. Let's go ahead and crack it. Let's get it out of here. They don't belong in here anyway. They belong in the case. Let's take a look at the card. I'm going to go ahead and keep all these cards just as a memento. Let's take a look at the actual piece. Johnny Lightning just does a fantastic job. And for all you guys who collect Johnny Lightning, I know you know the same. Even there. Take a look along the back there. Even the cars that don't have rubber tires are just awesome. See that there? That Corvette detail? Just awesome. Let's see if it has an opening hood. Yes, it does. And the hood does open the right way, but it doesn't open enough to see any detail, which is fine by me. We'll take a look at the base. It's on a 99 playing mantis base. Awesome. Like Johnny Lightnings because these these older Johnny Lightning castings they come on a metal base, and I really do enjoy that. Okay, last but certainly not least, you guys, a Viper. You know when it comes to American Muscle, I'm a huge fan of Vipers, Vets, and Stangs. This grouping here doesn't disappoint. This is the SCCA Pro Racing World Challenge. 31, driven by Neil Hanneman. SCCA Pro Challenge, uh, I believe in 98, was on Speed Channel. You complete racing nuts can set me straight on that, whether or not I'm correct. Let's go ahead and crack this bad boy open. As the vet wants to roll away. There we go. Let's take a look at the card there. Really cool. I, that card I like. And here we go, guys. 
You know I'm a huge Viper fan. I'm just completely enamored with the Viper. And what it, what it is about the Viper that I like the best is, is that big V10 up front. That just immediate throttle response and broad power curve that an engine such as that would offer. Strange thing about the Viper, it's a top end motor, definitely designed for racing. Take a look at the interior details there. I don't know if the hood opens, let's check it out. No opening hood on this one and I'm fine with that. Let's go ahead and flip it over. It's on a 1999 playing Mantis base. Rubber tires with no tread as this is a race car. Alright you guys, thank you so much for watching. I I wanted to share these beautiful race cars with you guys. If you have any comments, please leave them below. Feel free to subscribe, and thanks for watching. Take care.